Hey everybody, this is James from the Wall Street Minute, and today we're going to talk about crowdfunding, particularly equity crowdfunding. What's the difference between crowdfunding and equity crowdfunding? Well, in equity crowdfunding, investors get offered a piece of the action, in other words, ownership in that company. It's a way for small investors to get involved in a company pre-IPO. This used to be reserved only for the very wealthy, uh, but now it's open to even smaller investors. So how do we do this? Well, generally, I, I've gotten a lot of questions about this uh, website called WeFunder, so I thought I'd go on there uh, and get Give you a little a couple of pointers on how to use the site this is we funder you can just google it and then you find the site and if you notice it's loaded with all kinds of opportunities um to buy for different kinds of companies whether they're technology companies whether there's somebody trying to make a movie whether there's somebody trying to do a docu-series um some of them are really interesting some of them i look at and i'm like eh, maybe i don't get it uh other ones i look at and i say wow that's really cool anyway so what is we funder so let's look here on the site there's one i'm particularly interested in now mind you this video is for informational purposes only um if you go into the search bar here and you hit uh, the king of Khan, uh, which is right here, uh, it brings up the king of Khan site on the WeFunder site. Interesting. So what is it? Basically, it gives us a little video. It tells us about the project. It tells us how much money they want to raise, and it tells us what they're going to do with the money. Basically, they're going to film a docu-series based on the life of a very interesting North Jersey character who, to some degree, in my mind, was kind of like the investment banker for organized crime. Um, anyway, uh, what they're doing is they're trying to raise 1.7 million. So what do I do if I want to if I want to participate in this project? I go over here and I hit invest. I I see where I can put money in, um, and I want to invest, say a thousand dollars. And on this side, it will show up across here a bunch of perks I would get, just like a regular GoFundMe or Kickstarter campaign. I get a bunch of perks. I might get a T. For sure, and I may get a signed book. I may have a chance to be an extra in a TV show. Now, that's cool. Anyway, so what do I do? And I put in, I say, okay, I want to invest. I want to pledge that money. And what does it do? It asks me for basically my email uh, and name. Uh, what are they doing? They're basically taking pledges. You don't have to pay the money right away. You can pledge to give that thousand dollars and it's not due until the site registers that that particular, uh, project has raised the 1.7 million, the stated goal of that project. So once they get up there, then they're going to go around and send everybody emails and say, Hey, yo, it's a thousand dollars. Send your check in. We raised the money. We did what you asked us to do. Uh, what makes this really interesting for small investors is the company gets a pledge that you're going to give them the money, but as a small investor, you can keep your money in the meantime, and it gives you a lot of upper time, a time frame to plan to be able to raise that money. So say you want to put 500 bucks in, but you're a little tight right now because you just paid the rent. Um, but in two months when this is probably going to be due or three months, you know, you can save that 500 bucks in three months. So you'll have it ready uh, when the site asks you to send the, send the money in. Usually it's a wire transfer. There's a couple other ways to send money in, but I, I think generally it's like a wire transfer right from your bank account. Anyway, this is James. It's really simple. Um, mind you, you have to have a lot of patience. This is not a get rich quick scheme. It takes a long time. Um, it's no guarantee that however cool it sounds that it's really going to work. However, I think it's a really interesting alternative to just investing directly in the stock market. So this is James once again from the Wall Street Minute. Say hello, leave comments, and of course, subscribe to these videos.